whether or not you accept or decline, like you, you can accept or decline this, you will still get wishes. If, if I know I'm getting wishes, then then that changes everything. I just, I just, what I'm saying I just is don't... you shouldn't you can assume, wish to be hairless. welcome everybody, That's... by the way, to, to, to Temple Flight issue number six. I Guys, just... I, what I'm saying is if a genie comes up to, you, to me, I'm not, I am not so, I am not so hubristic to assume, well, here's my chance, everyone. How no, dare all of you assume I, that if a genie appears, they're there for you? What if well, they're there for I that feel... street rat over there? He's talking well, to you and giving you your freebie, though. Like, also, yeah. like, yeah. Genies, genies don't just appear. You have to, like, you have to create an action to summon them. You don't. Also, have... Philip, you said if a genie came to me and said I could take yeah, that, sure, yeah, you that. I know, it's all <laughs> conditional. It's all conditional. The point is, what if a genie, what if? It's, it's, what I'm saying is, in this very narrow circumstance, also I didn't say I would, I said I might not. Hi everybody, welcome to Top Flight Issue 6. My name's Philip. I'm the publisher of this game. Um, I think you should keep about them, is what I'm saying. I don't know, it's just, what if something You should happens? be proud of who you are and you should keep it. But what if something happens to it? Like a paper cut? Um, you can wish the genie to the put it back because of pristine if condition the it was. It away, that would be something happening to it. You know. You know what? You know what, Philip? I think you're being a real Democrat right now, and you're just taking the offer that's given to you, and you need to counter offer. I agree. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, you need I to just, negotiate with the genie. I don't. I no. I am not. Again, people. If a genie shows up, if a genie shows up, oh, I'm. I still have chat up. This is. I, I appreciate your enjoyment, Sophia, but this is not a fun argument. This is. This is a very serious thing to me, and I feel I am not being listened to by five people I otherwise thought were. Like, I'm absolutely. To you, I am just letting you know. Yeah. I am. I am <laughs> hearing weird. everything we are you're saying. To make sure that you know all your options. Yeah. Yeah. Because just... we're concerned about you. There's and a difference. Think about the pubes. Just think about. Yeah. You, yeah, yeah. you clearly haven't okay. even thought about the whole picture because I, I the haven't. picture no, was I, disgusting. I also yeah. one. I never said I'd do it. I said I might do it. But now that you've introduced that angle into it, I won't do it. I'm just well, saying, in general, now, if a genie shows up and starts talking to you and talks about freebies, do not assume we're also getting wishes. You might not. Also, Philip, why would you assume they're free? If he says this one's a freebie. Maybe it's because he collects them. Yeah. So he'll like take them off your hands for free. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, so uh, thanks that everybody for so... being here. Um, we've oh, got all so the fun you. stuff. No, thank you. Unsubscribe, let's play a game. <laughs> that reminds me of the world. That was so, the thought. Oh right. my God. Speaking of genies, let's open this calendar. Um, I'll collect it in the lamp. Where's 21? Last night was 20. Here's 21. Ooh, what's in it? Let's just open it. Be <gasps> Multiple dice. Okay, first of all, we have another one of these that doesn't have a symbol on it of the of the sparkly orange uh, representing the, treasure. The gold, right? right? But also within here, ho, 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 a ruby gemstone D20. Ooh. Ooh. And I can show it here on this night, and you can actually see what color they are because we have color. How fun. Yeah, so now, ooh, look at all the beautiful gems. The beautiful ruby. The beautiful emerald. The beautiful emerald legacy. That's not a dice. The beautiful amethyst, I guess. What are we going with for purple? Wait, are you going to end up with an infinity stone set? Ooh. And then I'm going to, then I'm going to. Yeah, Damn, then I'm gonna put and then you're just gonna thing. and then you're gonna snap and make that wish come true. <laughs> Won't even need a genie for the pretty. Oh God, please! You guys don't understand. If I had a wish, I would do something much better and more beneficial to everyone. I'm not doing a wish for that. That is a boat. That's the genies. That's the genie. You know what that is? That's if the genie has a wish that's like a that's like very narrow targeted, not that much, and it's like a COVID. It's a COVID vaccine that's about to expire. Remember those days? Yeah. And he's yeah. like, gotta use it somewhere here. Would you want that? And I'm like, let's do it. No, no. A wish? I'll do something really cool with a wish. Um, so. All right. These dice were interesting. Anyway, everybody. Um, well, man, these conversations go to crazy things. Um, I think that... Some things happened to this game that have been uh, sort of complicating matters. And uh, we can do a sort of recap of what's going on in Temple Flight to a certain extent, which is that some this is going to be a very sort of general thing. Uh, some superheroes went 
stepped out of reality for a moment when they returned. Everything was different. Trying to set things right, um, they have ventured to the astral plane. One of those superheroes named Armament knows what the real goal is. But what I'm really going to describe to you is the situation of several people who live in a village called... Maybe I should, in light of so many things, maybe I should change the name I came up with for this village. Shouldn't. No. Maybe just leave it. Too late. All right, cool. No, 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 I will. I, I actually will, yes. Um, Galaga Falls. Oh, right, right, right. They've named it after the goddess. Uh, so, um, in the village of Galaga Falls, there live many interesting people who just kind of want to go about their lives farm the plum orchards, fish down in the lake below, just enjoy the tranquil offerings that Galaga Falls has to offer. In this town, there is a man of jade. His name is Nopaz. He is a uh, sort of a, a widower. It's very sad. It makes all of the, uh, makes many of the people in Galaga Falls very sad for, for his loss and hope that they can comfort him in varying ways. Nopaz also, for some reason, is the caretaker to five children here in town. Saint to Light Elf, Grant, a Draconic, Want a Bunny Feet. <laughs> Couldn't say that one. <laughs> Want a Bunny Feet, a Fawn, who does not have bunny feet. And Shaw, a bird person. Oh, no, she's not a bunny. She doesn't have bunny feet. Yep. She's a fawn. <laughs> Um, as well as to Candy Mane. A it's unicorn. a family name, all right? Yeah. We, I, it's adopted by oh my gosh. In, in all, in all cases, um, no pause seems to be acting strangely, asking questions about religion, asking questions about the flow. Many of the women in town figure, maybe this means he's serious about getting married again. And they all rub their hands like this. No pause, however, has come at the end of the Harvest Festival, where the children had a bit of an altercation with a young woman named something Jevegia. Something impronounceable because I was coming up with the names by rolling on a ring like this. Um... Jevegia, whose mother is Simka, kind of the village leader, and who also has the hots for Nopaz. Um, the kids felt a lot of, uh, they feel like they're not getting what they deserve. They feel like they're being mistreated. But now Nopaz, their kindly caretaker, has suggested he needs to talk to them about something, something important. And so that's where we're going to begin today's game. After. Oh, yes. A prologue. All right. <laughs> All right, well, boys and girls of Galaga Falls, you have two options for today's prologue, both of which are set here in the world, the only world that's ever been. Would you like to see, we're going to tell you an ancient secret from long ago. This is a story that you might hear around the campfire at night. Would you like to hear a tale after the battle of water and darkness? Or would you like to hear of the doom that came to Pogia? Do we know what Pogia is? Um. Pogia? You, you do, you actually did learn of Castle Pogia. Um, right, 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 yeah. It was, there were amethysts and emeralds. Ooh, amethysts and emeralds. Um, there, you. Uh, was Pogia a good person? Pogia was a, was a, was a castle. Um, well, it was I guess a, it not was a, named after a person. It, it is like a kingdom name. It's like it's like it's like France or something. So, the, after the battle of water and darkness, or the doom that came to Pogia. I go water and darkness. One. Kyla, is that a one or is that a thinking? No, no, sorry, no. Nope, sorry, no, no you're good. You're good. Yet. I wasn't sure if you were doing like a real subtle like. I'll do two. Two, two. Ooh, three for two. Is that, is that two, or are you also thinking? Can tell what's on your. Okay. So that's three for oh. two? 
Wait, then can I can I yeah. change my one to make uh to make KJ uh, absolutely? No, 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 you cannot retract a vote. You can't. I'm going Once with it's it. in the ballot box, you cannot open it back up. Ain't in the well, ballot box. Asking, he's he's dead now, so he can, he gets to do as yeah, he wants. And we, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> we, that's how that. We have to do as he's. He, we have to do as he says, not as he does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh fine. Um. Again. Two. Two. The doom that came to Persia. <laughs> Long ago, the beautiful castle of Pogia, over the mountains, was enjoying a bright, sunny day. King Aubergine of Pogia Castle was spinning around, saying hello to all of his subjects. Back in those days, the top folk were much more prevalent in the lands top folk. As they spin about, rotating, and they're able to move with great distances, um, they were just enjoying the kinds of days that came to Pogia very frequently. Worshipping all that was purple and green until a bright, crackling light unlike anything they'd ever seen before appeared in the courtyard. King Aubergine rushed to get the children away, the, the, the top kids, away from, away from this, away from this strange occurrence. For in all their understanding of the power of the flow, the power that they worshipped, they had never seen a light like this. Then, <laughs> appearing, bursting forth from this, stood a tall man made of wood with whiskers a carved mouth and wild eyes. This tall man looked around and, as the survivors long ago said, said something that sounded a lot like, Damn, too early. The people of Pogia tried to defend themselves from this strange invader, but his power was too great. He picked up top folk, stuck their spinners in his mouth, and crunched, and he cracked again, and again, and again, and when they brought out powerful eldritch bombs, he demonstrated that he had similar magical abilities. And when they finally cracked his wooden form, the wood congealed back together making it seem like he was nigh invulnerable. Fearing what would happen, not just to Pogia, but to the entire mountain range, if a monster like this was able to wander around, this monster saying things like, like, th th implying that he needed to rule here, he needed to wait. The king went into the temple within the castle and twisted one emerald and one amethyst, activating an ancient power that had been left for him. An eldritch bomb. And though many Pogians fled, many more were trapped as the castle <laughs> fell in upon itself, leaving nothing but ruins, but trapping the strange wooden invader within for generations and generations. But some people say, and at this point, the story will cut to like a more modern day and you like, we like, we like tilt down over the area. But some say, on occasion, you can still hear the cracking of that creature below. And that's why no one goes to Pogia, lest it awaken a sleeping wooden air. And as we linger on this shot, of the ruins of Pogia in eerie stillness. One tiny little bit of unicorn sparkle that's been floating for the wind for miles drifts down towards the castle and lands on a ruined stone. And after a moment, a loud cracking sound is heard within the castle. A scent has been picked up. There's a nut to crack. 
Okay. Anyway, that's an ancient story here. Because of time. Uh, all right, so, my friends. <laughs> uh, we'll, get to, we'll get to that at some point, potentially. But, in any event. We're back in Galaga Falls. Um, would you have spoken to the kids at that minute armament, or would you have kind of like let them enjoy their sugar plums and everyone goes to bed? What was oh, the plan? Oh, yeah, they must enjoy the festival, and then when we get home, I shall talk to them. Understood. So you're going to talk to them this night? Yes. Understood. Oh. So, in that case, we are going to move to No Pauses uh, Cottage just outside the village. <laughs> A tranquil place um, as you children walk in. Because now you're all just straight up kids, I guess. I know some of you are teenagers. It's fine. Um, as all of these abandoned youths in this village. What the fuck's wrong with this village? Um, as you guys walk in here and this this elderly widow, or not even elderly. This, I'm like, this, yeah. Yeah. He's this, this charismatic widower who takes care of all the town's kids. Um, leads them in. You all see and... and, and uh, I'm, I'm going to sometimes talk to Armament and sometimes talk to Nopaz. So kind of as Nopaz opens the door, Armament, you see the inside of this this room. It all it all sort of, it doesn't actually feel familiar, but it feels like you're like, right, I get it. Um, and you see there is a shrine to your dear devoted, uh, dear departed bride. Um, an image of a woman seemingly made of jasper. All of the sort of kids, as they walk past, seem to sort of pay it some symbol of respect as, as you've taught them to do. But a loving sort of, like, simple portrait of your forberly Jasper bride. Uh, the kids are all kind of, you know, sugar drunk on, on sugar plums, which, by the way, fun fact I didn't know until I did research for it after the fact, sugar plums aren't plums, they're just, it's just like candy. Yeah. Wow, so, I didn't know this place is a this place is a plum orchard because I don't know why. Um, but in any case, um, as you sort of bring them all in, the kids gather around. Uh, some of them a little kind of you know some of the younger ones eyes drooping. In fact, I, Candy Mane sorry. falls immediately to sleep. Go ahead, Saint. Quick question. Um, yeah. Am I forgetting something? Like, is it being made out of jasper? Like, do I recognize a person at all, or? Ah, so uh, no pause is made of jade. He's uh -huh. like he's like a stone person made out of jade. So I'm just yeah. saying she was made of jasper because they're. But I mean, it's not like modeled after someone that we met in not Dream World. Oh. I can't speak to that. <gasps> I also I'm not oh. saying I'm not saying yes. I just know that by not answering that, I'm gonna make that one freak out, and it worked. Um, <laughs> sure. Uh, maybe it is someone. Maybe it's not, but right now you see a very simple image of a woman made of jasper. Who could it be? Maybe someone from Armament Subconscious. Maybe it's just something that the world thought it needed. But I will say that just as kind of like a hint to Lauren as a player, this is the key thing to investigate, not getting back to the world and finding the power eldritch. Cool. So, um... Okay. I, I said, I said, this is the key thing. I, okay. So, um, as you all gather here, uh, Candy Main kind of nestles, you know, in the sort of little, little room in this quaint cottage on the cozy rug. Uh, no pause, I guess maybe you start a fire up. Uh, and you, as you all kind of gather there, all these, all these kids kind of doing, you know, yawning such. No pause, you can gather them together. Um... And so yeah, I'll have everyone sit down and I'll just say, so um, how many of you all have been have paid attention to the, what was the, what was the priestess's name again? Um, it's, uh, it's, it's so much. Her, uh, the oh, Quatico. Yeah. The yeah. Quatico is her name. Oh. 
How many of you? I'm putting that into Twitch chat, by the way, so you guys can see the the How ridiculous is. abomination that my ring came up with. The Quatico. <laughs> um, how many of you have um, paid attention to or remembered the things that the Quatico or other priests at the temple have? Um. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty ingrained in me that they're all disappointed in me and expect more from me. Pretty much every single person here has told me that. Well, I don't want that to weigh on you at all, Grant. Um, I have listened but, to everything they say, including contradictions. And there are there are many, in fact, as, as all old stories from fable uh, tend to to grow and change. People take their own interpretations. Well, I love stories so much. I listen to all of them all the time. Sometimes I just tell them to myself to go to sleep at night because I don't like the voices in my head that say like things that I should be worried about. So instead I try to say a lot of really nice stories. All of some of the stories- Oh, sweet are- Wanda. And Saint will just like pet her, pet her head. Some of them are surprisingly dark. And I'm sure they are. Remember those dark things in your head are not real and you should not listen to them. They feel real. Sometimes they do feel real. And- that's when you really need to focus and be strong about not listening to them. Okay. Uh, the reason the reason I ask about this is I've been having something has felt off or different lately, and I think I may need to. I went to during the festival. I went to the temple. I talked to the way to go. And I, I, I confess, I've been watering down your alcohol because I've been taking some of it. I just sometimes, like I said, everyone <laughs> tells me that they, I know that everyone tells me that they, that I'm a disappointment. Grant. Sometimes you need to let loose, Dad. Grant, I know you've been doing this. You're not as sneaky as you think. All right. Oh, okay. Is this, is this actually about the women? What How- women? How all of them are noticing you more? They, they are. Is Vaquitico also? Uh, I, I have to ask. Like, uh. No, um, no, it was no Vaquitico. No. Uh, oh. oh. Okay. Um. <laughs> no, not back to my inside check though. Um, yeah, um, you don't know, but but honestly, uh, actually, I, I, did know Simca. I did know Simca was in. Was the, yeah. uh, uh, I, I'm not sure that they're. Um, they all want to marry him, but uh, yeah. Oh, they, well, they all want to have sleepovers. They all want to do something. Yes, I'm yeah. just yeah. not sure what. Well, they want to have fun, have sleepovers. Yeah, that's what they keep asking yeah. me they, too. Maybe be our mom. And, 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 and again, it's, and it's like. Would it, if you want, if people want to have sleepovers, everyone must want to have the sleepover, right? And sometimes not everyone wants to have the sleepover. I love sleepovers. Right, but but there, would you want to have a uh, would you want to have a sleepover with Shvegia? Not with the hell spawn Simka has created. No. Exactly. Well, maybe she would then like us and stop being mean to us. We don't need evil to like us, Wanda. It's fine. Not, Wanda, I don't think it's going to work though. Not do but something. When, when evil is around good, then it then it balances then out. And good smites evil, and that's how or, the balance continues. Or I evil corrupts smite. good. Children, children, children. I, what I was trying to say is, there, something seemed different, and I had, I went to the temple with some questions, and I got some answers that were convoluted. And I may, to get more, to figure, learn more, I may need to go on a, trip a journey can i come and we come well i was it might be it might be long oh good i would love to get out of here i don't want to be here for a long you. time you might you take care of us it might be dangerous there might be bad things on the way are they real or in my head both potentially likely both. very both I would, if you, I would, I would feel better about your chances in this town if you were to come with me because I, while it might be dangerous, I do know that not everyone, without me looking after you in the town, things um, may get out of hand. 
And I'm not talking about you all getting up to mischief, which can happen and is sometimes endearing and sometimes a little bit of a pain, but also, you know, everyone else might take advantage of me being gone. I didn't drink any of your alcohol. Well, thank you for your honesty. Saint did. I just look at Grant. Did she? Grant, so, actually, I have been removing the alcohol from the bottles before you got to it, and you've only been <laughs> drinking food coloring. So you, so you, wait, so that means that you got rid of all of I poured Pa's it down alcohol? the sink where it belongs. I think that's way worse, actually. Yes, you would. So, um, would I guess no then, but maybe yes. I, I don't know. Honestly, pause. No, what? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm confused, Grant. Oh, whether or not, whether or not Saint did in fact drink oh. the alcohol now. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, I, I, oh I would be shocked if Saint were drinking alcohol behind people's backs. So that, um, does not seem, that doesn't seem to be a likely outcome or occurrence to me. So, and it's not just because of Saint's name, but it's because of who Saint is as a person. Yes, because I am all that is good. Yes. Uh, Father, I would love to go with you on this journey. However, I can also accept the responsibility of smiting the evil in this village while you are gone. <clears throat> Saint, I, I am worried that without... You should not guide, be worried. The evil in this village should be. I would love for you to come with me, Saint. I when are we leaving? There will be evil for you to smite. Excellent. Saint will stand up and dust off, like, you know, get a dust off her. I will smite as much evil as I can while we are here. And she comes uh, Let us get some rest tonight. Uh, we must, it's important. You cannot smite evil without a good night of sleep. I've had a lot of sugar, though. I'm ready okay. to go. I don't think I'll even be able to sleep. That's true. We basically just had dinner of candy. <laughs> We basically just had candy dinner. So. I think there was some part fish, of our though. Harvest. Yeah, if this part of our village is harvest, I assume okay, we okay. utilize it a little more better. Yeah. It's just fish and plums, y'all. Yeah. Classic combination. Lots of plum sauces here. <laughs> um, anyway, I will... I'll read, a, I'll read them a bedtime story. Oh, great. Um... What you want to read them a bedtime story, okay? Yeah. Um, I will say for uh, for a fate point, you can have a a a massive library. Otherwise, you'll just have to read them whatever you can find. Um, actually, fish, no, I, will, I will tell fish, them a bedtime fish, story. Oh, perfect! Tell them a story. Oh, also, and by the way, for everybody, I have gone ahead and reset everyone's uh, fate points for the day, just so you're aware. Um, so. Uh, you're going to tell them a bedtime story. Yeah. That's arguably... Yeah, go, okay, go ahead. So, uh, once upon a time, there were... No, there were... Six companions. They... Went, they... Were in search of someone's soul they had to through through hard journey and long searching they had to find a way to a realm of darkness there was there was one who had incredible incredible power incredible strength there was one who had incredible speed and agility one who was like you say, brimming with everything that was all good. There was one who could be wherever she wanted to be in an instant. There was one who could make herself many and then one again. With other companions, with a, a secretive, a secretive witch who blinded herself to the sunlight with another um, 
Fuck, who else might? Uh, if they went to. They traveled to this land of darkness, this this terrible world. They fought. They smote evil, Saint. They dealt okay. with bizarre creatures that took from them their senses. And eventually, they rescued a boy. A boy who was a man, but who was a boy. I know. Sometimes, sometimes, Wanda, things are not as they seem. Oh. And they fought other they fought others like the one who could move with speed and agility the ones who would steal steal the soul from the from each of them given the opportunity but they were victorious saint in their fight against evil and when they returned when they returned to their home they found it was different and it was not the way they left it and i suppose the moral of that story is that you can never go back to things being the way they were. Well, uh, yes, Grant. Uh, was it actually different or uh, were they different? Was it the same, but they had changed so much from their experience they didn't feel like home anymore? That's a very good question. Uh, both. They had both changed and the world had changed. Ah. But. I'm not sure I understand that. Well, things change. Grant, things can change in a place, correct? Yes, that obviously. And, and people Trees can, can change. grow. People can change, yes. And when people, when people, and when people change along with a place, that happens generally in harmony. Uh huh. The thing, the times change in a place, but the people adapt to the times. But sometimes, mm -hmm. when people are, and places are separate, the change is different. And when they return together, they do not mesh. Yes. Are you telling us that after we leave, we're not coming back? I'm saying that when you come back, things may not be the same. Okay. Perhaps okay. they simply were too full of darkness from that realm they went to. And when they came back, they were no longer the good beings they meant to be. They were corrupted from that realm. Perhaps that is... I would never be corrupted that way. I don't believe you would, Satan. That perhaps that is one interpretation of the story. Well, we'll all still be a family when we come back though, right? Of course, Wanda, of course. Okay. All right. This now, is a very I'm, weird story. It is a weird story, but many many of the best stories are weird. I like how okay. all of them sounded. Well, and on that note, children, it's time for bed. We will leave in the morning. I feel like I'm gonna have anxious thoughts tonight because of that story. It was very good though. Thank you for the story. Uh, yeah. uh, Saint will, I guess if if Fawn thinks this is like a calming thing, Saint will like, I guess like stroke her fur hair. Whatever. Whatever. She... Yeah. What has hair? There's little antlers okay. coming out of it, but yeah, it's hair. All right, I just wasn't like, she said mm -hmm. Fawn. So I'm basically just picturing like, I guess like a deer on two feet. I don't know. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like a, a satyr, but a fawn. It's like, it's like satyr -esque. Okay, then yeah, Saint will like kind of, if it's comforting, will yeah. She, she rubs that over there and then, and then honestly on the other side of you, Saint Candy Mane has nestled up and she's just muttering dirty jokes incoherently um, as she sleeps. Um, I, I would like to, uh, when, before, like if everyone's gone to bed, I do want to find no pause for a second away from the rest of the kids. Okay. I assume that all these kids just kind of, you know, sleep in a pile like where the wild things are some nonsense but yes yeah. you can find you can find no pause for sure um you can take a moment you're the oldest that's fine <clears throat> i just i just have a question no pause uh, uh yes great, of course so i just want to i just want to be clear because i kind of have another interpretation of everything you were saying and i just want to make sure that i understand what's going on did you like get into trouble with one of the women here is there going to be like another kid and are we leaving because no. of that no that Grant, that has not what happened. Okay, so there's really some big evil thing we're gonna go fight. Yes. Okay, that changes the way I'm gonna pack my backpack. That's all I need. <laughs> very fair. <laughs> that makes that's very fair. Alright. Good night. Good night. Very well. Uh, so Grant will go to bed. 
armament, no pause. No pause. When you go to when you go to your bed, you have like a little, you know, like separate room where your bed is. Yeah. All right. You walk in there, no pause. You see a sort of, you know, a, a quaint village bed, the kind of way that nothing in medieval times would have ever been anywhere near this comfortable, uh, even probably for kings, but somehow it looks super cozy and fine. You know, Lord of the Rings rules. Um, beautiful bit of wood-carved bed. You probably carved it yourself. This guy is definitely a carpenter or something. I mean, the way these, the way the village ladies are just, you know... He's great with his hands. Oh, my God. It's, <laughs> oh, like, it's just these women in this town. It's like, it's just... Hallmark movie come to life, this guy. Anyway, uh, so you, um, as you, uh, you see, you see the bed. Um, They're all from s- the big city and coming yeah. to the countryside. <laughs> yeah. They all come here, but then they meet No Pause, who's like, his focus is just on family and like the, and, and like the winter festivals and stuff. And they realize that they need to, they need to not have jobs. <laughs> not of a, not of a job. It's really what they realize. Uh... <sighs> So no pause. As you as you sort of look here at your beautiful hand carved bed, um, you do see that like part of the room has this large wardrobe, um, which you're pretty sure contains all of your departed wife's things. You also have a wardrobe that is open that just contains you know dude stuff. Yeah. All your laundry is done by women in the village who are, like, just insist on helping. But, um, you know, so it's all been, like, in there, but yeah. I, um... I, I, I go over to my dead wife's wardrobe, and I'll open it, and I'll just look at the... There are, like, you know, just a couple robes there. I'll look at the one that she would have worn on festival days. Understood. You kind of make a look through that. Cool. Um, thanks for, uh, you're just not, I don't have to tempt you or anything. Uh, so yes, you walk over there and you look at this and, um, sort of in like movie moment, you, uh, you like, you, you sort of like your hand goes for the ropes and you're like, which one would she have? You're like, I guess this one, you touch some sort of, you know, dress, purple in color would have really been interesting with her sort of like her, 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 her stone skin. You touch it. And there's this flash for a moment of, like, you can just, like, see her, like, from a point of view, like a memory. As she's, like, running, leading you by the hand, smiling back at you. Another moment, it's almost like a perfume commercial of you guys, like, of her, like, looking at you, like, under covers or whatever. It's like the sunlight's, you know, streaming in. You hear a voice say, hold. But, Nopez, I need you to make a reality check. This is a skill? Mm-hmm. Oh, so you can just roll it flat if you don't think this will be a thing that matters. Or you can assign it to one of your open slots. Fuck it, I'll put it a great. A great. Ooh, wow. So his two best things are narrative arc and and this. Go ahead. Go ahead and I'm please make I'm angry enough, baby. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm not here to fight. You've got to save a place for denouement. What do you yeah. roll? What do you roll? What do you roll? Um, I, 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 I can use a fate point to, what is it, to re-roll? Or what can I do with fate points? You can use a fate point to re-roll, yes. Great, I'm going to do that because I rolled four minuses. <laughs> That's so good. That's Does so Does it re-roll cool. one die or all four? No, it re-rolls all of them. Okay. Full re-roll. That's, that's, that is, that is, like, it's like, that's like a 1.2% chance or something. It's very low chance. It's, well, it's point, it's like, uh, it's one third times, one third times, one third times, one third, right? Yeah, I've got the... Right, wow, whoa! And then I just rolled four pluses. So that's an eight, that's a legendary. Starting from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> so basically, so basically... Hang on. No, that's, that's, that's a, that's a really good, that's a really good turnaround. Wow. So basically, no pause, you, uh... You touch this, and for this, it, it. I'm actually going to. I'm going to give this one. Let's let's have the timing of this be not to you, but 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 to your boy, the guardian. Um, you touch this, and for this split second, you're pulled to this, and then you just hear that voice go, "Hold!" And you kind of come back and almost chuckle to yourself, like, "Oh wow, they really want me to think I was married to this lady." Um, so you sort of uh, kind of like, just keep yourself about you. Um, I will say with that level of, with a legendary reality check, I'm going to give you bonus information. Um, 
you, I'm not going to let you know anything about her, but I'm going to let you know with absolute certainty that though this wife of yours, you feel there may be some significance to this in the way she just popped up, you are confident that your wife is not Hideki Kaga, Nightheart, or Whisper. Your wife is not someone you came in with. You are fairly confident this wife of yours is a construct of this realm. Which is not to say that she may not have power, there may not be significance to her, maybe something worth investigating. But you're not like, this. it's no clue that you brought in. This is some other thing that is now growing forth from all of this. Can I then spend time, like, what, what I, so, what I have to worry, if I spend time thinking about her and trying to go over what I know, like, I take the information that Nopaz knows about her and take it over to Armament, what I, like, what I worry that might, like, cause me to lose myself back in that memory. I'm going to say with your fucking legendary reality check, I'm going to allow you to, like, you, you're, you can keep your head, you can do that tonight and keep your head. Right. You can look through her. Yeah, so and you like can look through her stuff. That I have, that I have and like try and be like with like take like that and use like armaments mind to like piece things together. Wonderful. Um. Well, in that case, then you do that. Does anybody else do anything other than sleep all night? I'll uh, I'll sort of sit in this like rocking chair I have and kind of keep an eye on it till everyone else has fallen asleep before I all kind right. of go to bed you'll you'll fall asleep pretty soon the rest of them they all drift off pretty quickly they did eat a lot of sugar today <laughs> um well my goodness uh with a man with a legendary that. that's success. like eight point swing yeah no it's it is it's it is oh god it is an eight point swing that's true yep that's you that's it that's the furthest swing you could possibly have yeah. Um, I really could use fate point. Yeah, that was a very good fate point to use. Um, so, I guess I should tell you some things about her. Um, this wife of yours, her name was Heliotrope. Heliotrope? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe in the Greek way they would have called her Heliotrope or something, but I'm just yeah. calling her Heliotrope because that's the term I know. Um, Heliotrope is someone you are meant to have um, married very young in life. And in a way where you're like, okay, okay, I, I see what's happening here somehow. Um, apparently you were injured in some carpentry accident or something, and she, like, really helped heal you. Kind of, like, brought you, know, you I was back. Like for... no, 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 yeah, no. I was going to make a really bad uh, uh, For the Love of the Game reference. For the love of the game? Yeah. Wow! <laughs> Please, do it. You've, you've seen the movie, right? I mean... I... 20, 30 years ago. I just, I, you know, it's like I cut my hand on a buzzsaw while, you know, we're up with her kid at, like, my winter place. And, like, she takes me to the ER, and I get, yeah. We have to worry if I can pitch again. Oh, yeah. my God. What year is that from? For the it's like, the mid-90s, right? Yeah. I know it's, I mean, it's it's insanely like, that it's, like, a, it's, a, it's, it's a Sam Raimi insanely, right? I think so, yeah. I mean. Yeah, directed by Sam Raimi from 1999. That's later wow. than I thought. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, he's a little older than that, too. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh my god. Sorry, this is uh completely derailed me. He smells back, baby. Um, let's say that actually, yeah, you were a baseball player. No. Um, so uh, <laughs> Um, but you you were sort of injured and she sort of seemed to 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 help you to some extent. Um, everything about her seems too perfect. Almost designed to be like to maximize how sad it would be to lose her that kind of thing yeah. um you 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 you're not recalling them because you're kind of keeping reality in it but like you're seeing all these references to you know like 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 you guys would just say things of like oh it, like we'll be so together forever and just kind of just junk like it's like it's yeah. like just always pouring it on triple thick yeah 
she died a few years ago. And as far as you can tell, she died because she went out into the woods on a night when she, when everyone sort of was told not to. She was worried that a child was in trouble. She journeyed out into the woods, one might say. It was actually one of the kids in your care. Specifically, it was Wanda Bunnyfeet, who had wandered off as like a like a toddler. Now, Wanda, you killed his wife. <laughs> she went out, and she brought Wanda back, but her eyes were dark and clouded. And she sort of indicated that there was something there. They said they were going to, like, no pause was out looking for her, and she said, like, tell him to go the other way, and she ran back in the woods. And they found her the next day, sort of dead, you know, frozen rhyme on her. It was the winter or some shenanigans. She died under what people, most people in town consider that she just kind of went crazy. Um, you know, they thought some madness was on her. She ate some, she ate some psychedelic mushrooms. It happens every now and again, you know. That's true, yeah, bad sugar plums, something something turned, and she had some weird hallucinations, and she just went out and died of exposure. Um, I will say that no pause up to this point has always been sort of searching for a reason why that could be the case. Um, but kind of based on what all the ladies sort of told him in town, suggested that, no, no. Oh, they totally just, just murdered her. It was just bad sugar plums. She was just l- bad luck of the draw. And... Because she'd went out to go save some random kid in town, that's kind of why you sort of, you know, brought all these children under your roof, is the implication. And the women of town are just like, it's it's just, I mean, like, they just love it. Is this all, like, common knowledge? Like, do we all know this? You know hints of it, but you're little kids, so you've heard probably weird rumors of it. Wanda Bunnyfeet doesn't even remember it. She was too little. It would have been like the beginning of a Disney movie where it's like the baby version of a character and it's super cute. Um, it's the it's the snoring Pegasus you were talking about, um, Saint. Uh, so, um, but yeah, that is the implication of this story. However, upon hearing this kind of armament, not no pause, is like, oh yeah, well that was some, that was something for sure. There's some weird thing out there, somehow connected to either my psyche or the psyche that's being put on me. I you know. Yeah. Um, why don't you make a narrative arc roll in response to all this? Which is another huge ability of yours. You've got... Jesus Christ, three minuses. So it's a one. It's an average. Average? Yeah. Bad. The tropes. Ooh, you feel like there's something. Um, the closest you can come to is you're like, you're like, wait, is this... Is this like a... You're like, it's not taken because I don't... My, no one's been taken... Is this like a ven- is this like a Avenge My Wife movie? You're like, what's the it's like like you know, you're you're just thinking of some various Schwarzenegger films, you know. You're Not Dr. Terminator, Freeze. but Dr. yeah. Cheaper by the dozen. <laughs> cheaper by the dozen. Cheaper by the dozen? That's what yeah, cheaper by the dozen. You, first you're my yeah. No, no, he he actually he rolled an average on it, so he won't. It's it's not it's not poor or mediocre. He won't go to he knows enough to not go to cheaper by the dozen. Um but yeah, you're sort of thinking it over and you're just Oh, like, oh, oh, I see what's going on here. Okay, great, 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 yeah, yeah. You don't quite, you don't quite, it doesn't quite add up to you, though. Kind of with just an average result. You're like, okay. I can't quite recall it all. I mean, <laughs> for example, yeah, it's like, it's like, among other things, that's what just like, there's, 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 these are all sort of tropes and stuff. So there's, there's just some things where you're like, I don't quite. Yeah. You're not sure what it means, but you have good intel about who this woman's heliotrope used to be. Um, regard, regarding the direction of that she went, is it like in, in relation to like the the river, both upstream and down, so like up the waterfall and down to, to the lake and beyond? Ah, uh, she went off. That... She went off into the woods that would have been sort of towards the waterfall up river, not down. Okay further into the mountains. That's where she went walking for, looking for Wanda Bunnyfeet, was able to save the child, brought her back, and then went back. Okay. Saint's head canon about this whole thing from Thinks She's Pieced Together is okay. that this village tried, used to have rules about like 
sending out the people that were different, hence Wanda being gone. And then this woman went to bring her back. And then the women collectively killed her for defying them, but then it was too hot and they had to change their rules. They couldn't just Saint. ostracize people anymore. And that's why uh, she, she thinks they're all evil. Love it. Besides uh, the fact that they actually Saint. are. I would like for you... What, what could I make you roll to sort of see the... Um, why don't you roll a conspiracy theory check? <laughs> why? This is like fact. I understand. I understand. Oh, uh, th then then we'll call it a... We'll call it a... Um, the truth is out there check. <laughs> um, but wait, wait. But so, so before you roll it, sorry, did you want to assign it to any position or this will just be flat for you? Average, I would assign it to average. Okay, so give yourself truth is out there at, at a plus one, and then you can make your roll and such. Okay, that is a two. A two. <sighs> Saying it's thin, but... Saying it's thin, but there's, 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 there's... It's adding up a little bit. You've got a lot of pieces that work. There's some stuff that's missing, namely how, who, where, when, and why. No, you've got the why. The why you've got. You got one of five, but you're pretty confident on that. You got mm -hmm. pieces of almost all the others. Very little about how. You don't have much on how. If you're really I'm honest with yourself. Who. Simka is, is partial. Yeah, I got partial. Yeah. Who? Yeah. You 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 have a list of suspects. You're not. You don't have the. You, it's not. A, it's not a locked list. But as far as the how, that's the thinnest one. You don't have much on the how. But very good. So, no pause. You spend much of the evening researching this, understanding that there are some clear tropes being made. Um, I'll say your sort of takeaway from that uh, is is even with your averages, that there, there clearly will be dangers for you all to face, and it seems like the woods are a dangerous place. There is something out there. So. You all sleep for the evening and awaken the next day. Light streams in. You hear birdsong in the distance. Birdsong, a word I've mainly learned from subtitles on various streaming services. Because they're always like, there's bird song. I was like, oh, I didn't know that's what it was called. I just thought it was, I was just what it was, birds running their damn mouths, beaks. No pause. You've gotten enough sleep. I'll, I'll honestly say that you're probably capable of, like, running on less sleep because you understand it's not real sleep. You know, you can kind of be like, I'll just do enough to trick myself. But I, yeah, so. Yeah. Um, but yes, you, you awaken early. Um, the kids are all sleeping still, kind of in hilarious, you know. Make different weird sounds too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely minor cause. You are crying in your sleep. Mm. Oh. Yeah, None of us, the rest of us are not sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, retcon this we've never slept. It's like literally Past like every years? she she breathes in and rooster crows every <laughs> <laughs> oh. She doesn't sleep with us, she gets locked in a closet every yeah. night. That I mean that's sounds. why that's why I, I usually sleep high up, you know, like <laughs> Actually no, as long as you just tie a, a, a like a bandana around her eyes, she won't see any light and accidentally. <laughs> um it slips slightly it's like how um, <laughs> upsetting. You all put a rubber band around her. Beak. And Wanda, Wanda with various whatever going on, Wanda just has a night terrors every night. So that, yeah, this, 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 the snore, the snore scenario goes Saint going, going, smite, smite, smite. Uh, Grant, like, <laughs> yeah, this is why uh, I sleep in the chair away Shaw, from the bed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Shaw going, Shaw going, gah, gah, and Wanda just, <laughs> <laughs> this further proves Saint's theory that 
the village used to ostracize the weirdos and, and Armament had just, or Nopaz had taken them all in or else we'd all be dead. We'd all be out there. Yeah, no, that's more more proof. <laughs> no, please don't! No, my God, no! Uh, uh, <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I'll go, I'll, wait, I'll wake the children up in the morning. Okay. Uh, well, with this group, that's a, a dangerous option, but yes, you, uh, you manage to... I, I, by them. this point, I have a routine. Yeah. He stays in the doorway. Oh, I also, like, no... I have, like, I have a walking <laughs> stick that I prod them with. Uh, no <laughs> pause, I'm also... From afar. <laughs> I should actually journeyer. mention... I should mention what... There is no journey here. Um... Oh no pause, I should mention one thing, which is that, and I'm going to let your legendary stand through the night. Um, you you distinctly have like a weird dream, like where you like feel heliotropes like kind of like like stony hand kind of on your chest for a moment, you know, and you're just like you're just like, not real. And it doesn't, you know, kind of like, like you can engage with it for a second or so, but it was more just supposed to be like a weird, but your reality check was high. So you were, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but yes, you awaken and. Um, yeah, you awaken so the children. Yeah. Uh, I'll make them a nice breakfast before we head out. Tell them to start getting packed. Okay. Scream though when you gently try to rouse me. <laughs> okay, are we leaving? <clears throat> I wasn't. I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't sleeping. After, um, we need to get a good meal in so we can have some energy, and then we'll head out. Okay. Um, I will eat. I'm gonna. I'll make sure that I'll, I. I will go through everyone's everyone's bags and make sure that undo all the inappropriate packing that they have done and then sure. repack for them. Sure. Can I notice that he did that and, and put back a sentimental item? Well, I don't know. Let's I see. I think that would have um, been labeled as like inappropriate packing. Yeah, Let's I mean, see, like, like, You know where it's like where like kids will bring like, I'm going to bring like one shirt and I'm going to bring 10 toys and I'm going to fruit roll yeah. up. So, so but Wanda. But he would know if I had Wanda. a sentimental thing. So Wanda. Yes. If you're going to try to look this over in a perceptive way, I will need you to okay. make an investigation roll before you do so, before you pick up your fate dice and do so. Do you want to add that to anywhere on your uh, skill? I would list? like to be fair. Okay, then please then please type in, in fair into investigation. No pause. Were you trying to hide the fact that you repacked or are you doing this in full? No, I'm just doing it. Yeah. All right, so go ahead and make a make a roll for investigation, Wanda Bunny Feet, and then add two to whatever you roll. Uh, since we're still learning the system, you can just roll your four D D fate and tell us what you roll if you want to talk it through. Okay, so it was three minuses and one blank. Okay, so that is a negative three. Okay. And then you add two to it because you have a fate. Negative. Okay, good. So I it, did think it was negative one. To be fair. So it is a negative one, which is poor. So as far as you can tell. Perfect, just Great. the way I left it. <laughs> Great job. Classic. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm like, whatever. It's not. As long I, I, it's more like making sure that they have stuff that will they will need, not like making sure they don't have stuff that they would. Yeah, you can let them yeah. bring some toys, but there's, you're like, no, yeah, you're. Uh, there is in my bag. There is no clothing. Oh yeah. There is a small bottle of whiskey. Yeah. From your stash, uh, and there is. Hope that it's not whiskey. <laughs> Um, <laughs> small bottle of brown water, then, buddy. <laughs> and uh, and uh, and what what do you think would be more likely that you would have allowed me to have no pause? Boxing gloves or brass knuckles? Not what he allowed. What matters is what you were able to get. Right. This is what's in the bag. I don't know if he's what he's gonna like take or put. Uh, if, if they're both, they, I mean. I think uh, they would be both. I would allow you to have both of them, just they might have been taken away from you for certain okay. amounts of time at different points. <laughs> yeah, okay. They're both in this backpack then. I'll and... take. I'll leave, take out the boxing gloves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not. No, you're not. <laughs> you. Well, not protecting anyone. Anyway. All right. Well, um, very good. So in that case, the kids are packed. It's early morning. You have some breakfast, which in fantasy movies always looks fucking delicious. 
Um, you pack up a bunch of, like, cheese and bread in towels, you know? Oh, God, I'm so hungry right now. Um, in a bin. In a bindle. Sure. I just assume that, like, no pause made us an omelet bar. Like, we just could go, like... For breakfast, we could just order whatever omelet or like. Uh, but but they end up all being sugar plum omelets with me. <laughs> just just plum sauce oh plum God. sauce fish omelets. Oh, I, I like. Juice. I love the idea of someone making like a be- like a perfect French omelet, and then folding. I'm just imagining just like like, and then it's just folded over with with a sprinkling of Rolos. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, all right, we do sweet omelets here. So we make a traditional omelet, and then just in the center of it, just at the end, we put in a bunch of nerds and a couple of Twizzlers, and just let them kind of let the latent heat. I did try a less complicated version of that as a kid. Okay. I put strawberry syrup on a bowl of rice, hoping it would just taste like strawberry rice. Did it? It was, it was disgusting. It was. It was. I never experimented at with like shit after that again hmm. the worst thing I, I and i wasted a whole ass bowl of rice i would definitely like put like snow cone sauce in my like sparkling water as a kid to make it like flavored <laughs> you know those you know those like freezer pops where it's just like a like yeah. a long thing and you freeze it you cut the end off sometimes it was so fun to fucking drink those like room temperature yeah. oh, oh my yeah god just a, like also a sugar shot straight to the liver also side note gang if you want to feel, if you want to feel the coolest thing in the world, for apologies to the environment, turn your shower to its hottest possible setting, okay? Then get a freezer ice pop and and shotgun it while you're having the scalding water pouring on oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you. No, this is very good. There's any any ice so cold thing. Weird. You want to have like a you want a shower soda, a shower beer. But I mean, I mean, hours. no, no, I mean like a uh, you you need something that's like like frozen, anything like, like, a, like yeah, anything that's like on the beer in the shower. Yeah, sure. No, but like if you can make like a beer slushy, I'm fine with it. But I want it needs to be like a cold thing, like a popsicle. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. This game is I I feel like we've never quite found our footing because just too many other cool things keep coming up. So, yeah. um, we're going to set off on the road. I've got like a like a staff that I can use as like a weapon. Understood. Um, like a walking stick. Uh, I, assume, like, I assume like as a carpenter, I've probably made versions of these for all the kids. They all can have a wa- everyone with their little walking stick. Yeah. And it's for like the, the aerial helmet. shots. It's yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then it's forced perspective when it's different. Yeah, because they're all different weird yeah. sizes. Um, Candy Main won't take one because she doesn't have feet, but you can fill her saddlebags with whatever you want. Yeah. Um. And with that, you guys will venture. Are you going to the village at all? Are you telling people you're taking these children away? Are you just going to let the town know that you're taking these children across state lines? You're just, you're, you're packing up your house, <laughs> going off the grid? Just put a note on the door. Just yeah, put a note so it's like, be I'm back soon. I don't want to deal with these women. I'm leaving a note on the door. Okay. <laughs> I am going to make a quick fate roll. Um, this will be flat. And for the women's chance, the, the, the women collectively would have a higher thing for this, but we'll just leave it flat. They will need... Whatever is on that note, Saint is adding at the end, P.S. I'm also leave, leaving because you're all disgusting, evil thing. Like, like you know, it's a, I, yeah. I'm, I know it's, I've seen you do this before, Saint. Please. Every time you've left a note for anyone, <laughs> so you just added like... So you start watching stuff. At this point, I've given up because they all know it's your handwriting. Yeah, they can tell that it's just a weird I just like to imagine you have a stack of pre-written post-its. Like, everyone says this on it, and you just, like, slap it on things. So you you leave a note. They say you're leaving, not to worry. Saint adds because they're all evil. Um, yeah. And she knows what they did last summer. <laughs> um, and uh, very well. So, that being said... This will be a flat roll for them, but I will require a... Well, I'll do it on my ring, not my this. They will require a uh, a fair success. But they do not get one. Um, so as it happens, though, generally speaking, one of these, one of these thirsty, thirsty, thirsty moms is 
is in the vicinity of your house at almost all times just to see if some other thirsty mom has like got up to the door like a With real slut too. probably i don't know some of them are you know i think there's a lot of single moms in this town because that just seems to track but like like they just they're they're partially they're seeing in case they see you and feel like they could walk over to you and partially they want to see if anybody else is being like just like like horrible yeah. and going up to your door so they can just call them horrible names um but at present none are there you slip out you, you probably you probably know the schedule uh like you know you're, you're not going at the usual time you chop firewood like i've done I've, I've played this video game level a lot before yeah. and i know the guards uh rotation yeah you know you know yeah it's like it's like you they're, they're all they're all gonna be over there in about 15 minutes when you usually chop your morning firewood so like you can like yeah you can just lead the group out kind of and uh you guys begin walking now that being said no pause where are you going bro uh the forest just into the forest, into the woods. We have I mean, to go. Know, we hate to leave. We have to, though. Yeah, yeah. I know. I mean, I know. I know vaguely the direction that I want to go, but I don't know. Like, I don't know. Specific, I'm, like, I'm asking what that is. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I would towards the direction where No Pause's wife went. Oh, okay. Oh, perfect. Okay, so you were just kind of going. You're, you're, you're like, cool. Let's head that way. Great. Yeah. So you begin heading kind of to the north, past the falls. It is a um. A wildernessy sort of day, uh, the light streaming down through the trees. It's still early morning, so it's kind of a bit cold. The world has not warmed up yet, and since you're under the canopy of trees, it remains cool here. As you are walking, um, is anyone in the group kind of doing some sort of like you know like survival tracking, orienteering, all that stuff? Is anybody kind of kind of being a guide? I just, I'm leading the group, so I will be like, all right. Um, I will uh, I will be at the rear of, of this uh, of the group just sort of like keeping an eye on things in the back so I I'm not really tracking but I'm more just sort of like make a, then why don't you make a why don't you make a lookout role look out and if you, if you want to assign anything to that I and will I'll, definitely assign lookout and no pause are you gonna assign anything to your to your, to your kind of trail guiding like what do you want to yeah I'll do it fair what do you want me to call this uh, yeah uh, survival guiding you know whatever nature i know nature. this is like a dream world but does the sun or whatever move the way it would in the real world or is man it... it moves how it moves uh okay yeah. so saint would know how to would know her directions based on the sun's position understood well then in that That's case saint, I ask. saint why don't you do an orienteering role okay well i'm gonna make that a fair understood i can i do a vibe check on the woods sure uh, Shaw, do you a... want to do any? Everyone's rolling checks, so everyone just hold on. No, no one say your checks yeah. will come to this. Shaw, do you want to do any checks? There's just it's. it's... Uh, I'll I'll check for other animals nearby or like anything nearby us. Um. So is it like you're look? Are you are you looking to see if there are actually animals there, or are you like are you like looking for like animal tracks and stuff like that? Uh. Yeah, I'll look for, like, other tracks that aren't ours. Okay, cool. Then why don't you make a tracking check? And again, if you want to assign that to one of your numbers, you'll get that bonus. Or if this is just a thing you want to do right now and you don't care about it, you know, you could throw it as an average just to have it. Or, a, you know, or you could make it something real good at, however you want to do it. I'll make it fair. A fair. Okay, so then also, so, and do you have dice now? Yeah. Yay, so roll your dice, whatever you do, cancel out pluses and minuses, and then you will add two to the final score. So I'm going to go around the horn and see how everybody just did on this round of checks. Saint, you have made an orienteering check looking at the angle of the sun to see if you're going in the right direction. I also dropped a chip. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's going to be upsetting for the next ten minutes. Um, I got a plus one. Or a, plus a one. one. You look up at the sun and you say, well, the sun rises... In the east, so we're going northish, maybe northeast. You're confident in that, but you know, you're, you're going in that direction. Honestly, you just dropped a chip in game as well, so you're like, you know, distracted. Uh, no pause. I got a two. A two. With a fair, you feel like you're doing a decent job of kind of leading them in the rough direction. You, you. You do kind of, 
you do come to little branches in the trail every now and again, and you have like you tell them to wait, and you kind of have to walk up and go back. But uh, but you're you're confident you're going generally in the right direction. Um, it's maybe going to take a little while longer. Also, they always have to pee. Um, Grant, I got a four. A four, Grant. You are confident no one is coming from the village behind you. However. All right. Well, I'm going to come back to you with your four. Okay. Shaw, what did you roll on your uh, on your tracking? Two. With a two? Yeah. Seems like uh, there's the normal number of animals you've seen in this area. Nothing, nothing weird. Uh, the tracks you would expect. Um, that being said... With a fair now, with a fair, that's kind of what you 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 know no no mistakes no whatever, but you don't you don't see any like weird you know don't see any no weird clues. And yeah. Miss Wanda Bunnyfeet, you made it. You're making a vibe check of the forest. Yeah, I got two blanks and two positives. So that is that five or is that? Three? Well, what is your vibes modifier? Plus three. Then it is five. Yes. Okay. You add whatever the the total of your yes. roll is to whatever your modifier is. With a five. You do a vibe check of the forest. So uh, you sort of feel this more than Grant sees it. But both you and Grant. Wanda, Grant kind of in the back. Wanda here. Grant, you can tell there is something moving through this forest. Something that is keeping an eye on you. Wanda, you feel eyes on the group. You have a sense that this forest is watching you through something strange. Grant, I'm actually gonna add one more thing. You you do not, you see something that seems to move, but it doesn't seem to move like in a continuous line. It's like you see some shape there and it disappears and then you see another shape up ahead. So it almost feels like something is either like, whoo, whoo. I mean, you've like seen night little- crawler. Kind of like Nightcrawler? It's night night either Nightcrawler or it's different things. I mean, you've seen Candy Mane sort of blip out of existence for mm -hmm. a second. So it's not untold magic, but you definitely feel that something is kind of either either different things are watching you while or something is sort of tracking along and Wanda feels those eyes even more intensely than you can see this kind of shape up in the shadows mm -hmm. of the trees. Something is moving along with you all. I'm gonna run up and grab Nopaz's hand with my free hand. <clears throat> okay. Everything okay? I feel like there's something watching us. Yeah, uh, Wanda's right about that. It's not it's not just a feeling and i'm just gonna sort of like start like gesturing up into the to the sort of tree line can i we're sure this isn't the guilty conscience i don't have one of those can i that, like, i believe that sure. can you find what sorry no pass can i take a look and see like what they're pointing and see if i sure make a perception check the trees have eyes five a five you see a shape on a tree about 20, 30 feet ahead, kind of like, kind of like looking down. The shape is immaterial, um, sort of sh like kind of like not really there, almost spectral, and it sort of like kind of like sinks into the tree as if hiding. Was there any kind of like outline or like so? I could, it was kind of like amorphous or. It, it was. It was. It was. It looked fantastic, like phantom like, it looked kind of wraith like. Okay. Okay, because I was like, I will like if there was any, any kind of like discernible features, I would have tried to see like like is this something that I have seen before? This, uh, why don't you roll? I guess God, I'm not sure I can have you do narrative arc for this because it's about stuff. Um, but if 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 you describe what you see, if anyone in this group, um, I'll say no one can just roll this flat. But if anybody in this group is versed on the lore of Galaga Falls. Um, oh, yeah. Could I do just, like, a nerdery check? A nerdery check. Sure. Yeah, yeah, like, 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 hyper, like, hyper in detail, you know, the way, like, nerds, when you nerd sure. out on what, something. What, what kind? Of, are you, are you sharing what you've seen, no pause? I mean, Grant sort of saw it a bit as well, yeah. but you've gotten a better look. Wanda? I think I would, too, because I, I really like stories, so I would Then, if you, really if you want attention. to, if you want to add a lore or a local, you know, local legends thing to one of your things, but remember, you have to do it before you roll it, generally speaking. I will do, and I will do fair. Okay. What are you doing yours for, Grant? Uh, great. 
Wonderful. All right. So, oh, oh, great. Wow. Okay. So then in that case, yes, Grant and Wanda, please roll your checks on local legends and lore. Um, you will need for this, um, based on what you've seen, you actually will need a great success. Yeah. Wanda, I'm what gonna... are you at? <clears throat> Me? Yeah. What'd you roll? Uh, ne I rolled... Two minuses, so a plus a and a minus, and then and then it's plus two, so zero. Zero. Uh, okay, so you, gonna, you don't know what it is. You're just scared. Uh, I'm gonna spend a fate point to reroll. Wonderful. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that's gonna work out to be a superb, a five. A five with a five. Um. Grant your mind, having seen it, and then Armin saying, ooh, there's like, there's like a spectral thing. You instantly start reciting all of the famous ghosts in the area. Um, I actually will, would like... Uh, throw me another survival check. Uh, or, an, or, or an orienteering check. Let, let Saint and Armament, uh, uh, Saint and Nopaz, please give me orienteering and survival checks on top of this. Um, as Grant starts kind of talking about sort of various ghosts, this could be a three. That's very good. Ooh. Yeah. I got mm. a five. With a five, uh, Saint Ooh. begins sort of explaining exactly where you are, Grant. And that narrows the long list of the ghost of the old barn. The ghost who sings that weird song. That other ghost who sings the same weird song. That other ghost who sings a different way. Like, you kind of, you sort of go through this. But the fact that you've seen a ghost and where you are, you realize that you guys are coming up the backside of Hooketh Hill. Where the pulsing ghost of Hooketh Hill, which I will put into Twitch chat. <clears throat> I'm sorry, did you say the pulsing ghost? The pulsing of ghost Hill? of Hooketh Hill. You did. That is what you said. Wow, okay. that's... The pulsing that ghost of Hooketh Ghost? For some reason. Did I say uh, ghost? Sorry. I mean, it's okay. Of... I'll retype it. The pulsing G-H-O-S-T of Hooketh Hill. There we go. That's the pulsing ghost in question. Um... But you know lore about this ghost. Late at night, or on a misty day, kind of like the one today, when vis visitors go to Hooketh Hill. Sometimes the very ground. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. This strange pulse can be heard in the earth and the trees Sometimes visitors say they see vines slowly creeping towards them. And the most unlucky see a figure moving bum, 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 from tree to tree. Most of the stories about this grant uh, indicate that they, um, you know, snatch up kids or they snatch away unfaithful women. Um, just all the sort of standard, standard things. Um, but... The story says that there is an angry ghost. And if anyone ever goes to Hooketh Hill who has a broken heart, the ghost tries to steal it from them. <clears throat> That's okay, right? You, you're totally fine now, right? Pause. Yeah. You're not, you're not. How long has this ghost uh, been a ghost? Like, did this for ghost show up last year or like? No, it's it's been for, it's been for a long time. Is, is there anything Maybe. in the uh, saints like? Cool. Is, it the white is there anything in the lore like? or super superstitions about mm -hmm. the ghosts that are like how you would ward off the ghost? Um, I mean, most or of the ghosts super in general. Ghosts in general, um, just kind of not giving them reason to mess with you. Uh, there are various holy symbols. Uh, because you are in Galaga Falls, the idea of like running water or like making circles of water tends to tends to keep ghosts away. Um, this ghost in in particular is meant to be to sort of be all about like 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 broken hearts 
and is supposed to be very most powerful kind of in the night, um, but can occasionally appear to people in the day. But it's more like looking at people in the daytime. Um, it's more of like a more of like a like a, um, it's like it's like you see weird visions, but if you're on Hooka's Hill at night, you might see the full apparition. I'll sort of <clears throat> tell all of that to No Pause and say, um, so we still want to go this way. I think it's uh, I think it's the path we're on. Okay. Well. Well, as long as you're okay. I'm fine. I'll make my way to the back of the group again. Okay. My heart's full having all of you around. Um, aw. Aww. So, so no pause. Um, in a way that doesn't quite make sense, although to Saints, uh, orienteering, everything's on perfect schedule, like, like, night is already beginning to fall. You're not really sure you walked a full, you're not sure you walked, like, a full actual day, but apparently in the astral plane, you walked one unit of travel, uh, yeah. in a couple of hours, and now you're like, okay, so, like, it seems like night is beginning to fall, and, um, you know, certainly, you know, most people don't camp on Hooketh Hill, so you could try to press the kids on past we sh- yeah, we should keep going. Um, that being said, Armament, I do want you, having heard what Grant said, as you guys do subtly feel this bump, 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 in the ground as you move, bump, bump. Go ahead and make a narrative arc check real quick. In the ground, like the ground is pulsing, or like the air is around us is All of pulsing? It. That's a okay. feeling. Okay. A three? Yeah. You know, I mean, you're gonna have to have some adventures. Maybe this one maybe this one's too scary with ghosts and stuff, but you know, you, there's part of you who's like, well, like we're gonna have to encounter some stuff. Um, but a ghost might be a bit much. Um and it is, you know, you, you feel this it is night and you kind of feel this bump bump. Bump bump. Bump bump. Am I getting any senses of familiarity with this? This person? is something. This is something at present you cannot have any skill in. Go ahead and roll a flat check. Okay. Because you, be, because because you're thinking something, but your character would not be. So it's gonna be a flat check. Yeah. You will need a three uh, though, so it's very. Oh, it's a one. A one. Yeah. You you don't you have a, a almost a glimmer of something, but not quite there. Okay. Like I'll try and like circle us around so we don't pass like the main part of this hill, but like you'll you'll camp you'll kind of camp on the side of the hill, but you won't go you won't like go to the top where a bunch of like Nazgul will will surround you. Sort right. Of yeah. thing. <laughs> Understood. Okay. Um. Very good. Uh. In that case, make a survival check to kind of find the best campsite. Oh God. Uh, I'll re-roll that. Spend a fate point. Burning through these fate points. They're refreshed. It's fine. That's one better. So that's a that's a one. It's a average job. You you don't pick something obviously. You're not like cool. Uh, let's camp here underneath all those uh, hornets' nests. But you you know you find a you find a decent spot. You feel like you've gone far enough from the hill. Though you technically are on the hill and not the road going past her. Yeah. Wanda, you have a stronger sense of something watching you. You all set camp as you were sort of putting up your tents and your things. Uh, Wanda, you kind of like lean against a tree for a moment. And the tree very, very distinctly. You not only hear bum, 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 but you almost feel as if, like, sap is, like, thunk, thunk, down it. Thunk, thunk. <laughs> the, the, the tree is, it's, 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 it has, like, a heartbeat. Like, it went, boom. And, and it, it feels like there's, 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 like, sap, like, tree blood. Get behind me, everyone. I'll get my staff ready. I'll just, like, see if I... I get my little staff, too. 
Uh, I have a question. Absolutely. Can can Saint have a gun? <laughs> um. Well, as a matter of fact, Saint can have a gun, but this is going to. I will tell you what is involved, and you can make the choice for this. Because a gun is something that is very off-brand for this, but there still is latent knowledge, and and Lumen has certainly seen many guns. That is going to cost you a, uh, that is going to be a stunt. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is actually, uh, that's probably going to be, uh, if you want a gun that you can, that you can fire once and that does a huge amount of damage, but, 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 or you can fire it, but it costs you a fate point to shoot it and it does a bunch of damage, that can be a stunt for you. Um, if you want a gun that you can always fire as like a gun weapon, that's going to be a stunt and your refresh rate is going to go down. It won't do as much damage as, a, as you're spending a fate point option, but you're going to have a lower refresh rate if you do that. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Yeah. Will the gun allow me to... I mean, I don't know how it works in the astral plane. Will the gun be able to do physical and like magical damage? Like, I mean... Well, you're not familiar with physical versus bad. Like, you're just, uh, you know. No, uh, sure, yeah. Um, doesn't really work like that here. You're just, you're going to shoot something with a gun. You hope it hurts it. If, okay, if Lumen wants a if I'm Lumen trying wants to lean a, into Judge Dread Lumen, basically. Understood. So, like... <laughs> okay, since you're leaning into some, some stuff like that, uh, then why don't you, I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. Um... Give yourself a stunt that just says gun. Cool. <laughs> um, and in parentheses, you could write judge, jury, and executioner. Um, and then um, go ahead and limit your refresh rate. So you, you now only start with three and you only have three. Yep. Um, Can we so sense that this thing is really close to us or... Make another vibe check. Uh, Saint, you sort of do this. Are you are you busting that out? Absolutely, yeah. So basically, a no pause. You look and, like, you know, like, though you'll occasionally remember things, this is, you're like, okay, that's new. You do see Saint pulls a, like, massive, you know, like, if you've ever played GoldenEye, <laughs> I mean, Saint. I that he's like, oh, shit, did I not take Lumen? Is Lumen yeah, <laughs> it's, it's just, it's just Saint. Saint pulls out like this, like RCP ninety. If you played Goldeneye, just looking like oh, like yeah. massive, you know, uh, just like this huge, this huge two handed like rifle. Um, the rest of the kids are like, "Oh, she's got that weird thing." But Loom is just like pointing it around. I got another five. Another five. Um, you feel it is more of a thing where like it's it's kind of all around in this area. Can I can I try to make friends with it? Uh, you can <laughs> attempt that. Uh, is anybody else doing anything? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be a lookout right now and sort of scan away, like look behind us, not at the tree. Okay. Um, so I will make such a roll. Yeah, I'm Go just like ready, it. getting ready to protect the kids if I need to. Understood. Can I be? Can that be a feat? A skill? Can I? Can I be great at making friends? Sure. How how great do you want to be at making friends? <laughs> I want to be really great. <laughs> She's going to be a plus four great. Okay, go ahead. Uh, four for my lookout. A four for your lookout. As the night is beginning to descend, as you peer up, you do see kind of like higher on the hill a figure more pronounced, an apparition forming in the twilight. Seems like a woman, seems angry, but you see in her heart this red pum 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 that seems to be in time with whatever shaking you're seeing on the ground. Um, Wanda, what did you roll for your make friends check? I, well, I oh. rolled a one. But, plus. but a plus four, so a five. Yeah. <laughs> so so as this is happening, Armament, you're kind of like pulling out your staff. Grant is looking, and, and you did you also roll a perception, Armament? I'm sorry. No, but I can't. I would. No, you you, you don't have to. Grant Grant has Grant did a boom, and you guys will see it. And Saint is just like, kind of like you know, helmet. No, she doesn't have a helmet, but that's the vibe. 
Um, I mean, I'm in. I'm. I'm. I, I'm okay I, with giving Saint. I am imagining that moment in the uh, the Lost in Space movie with uh, Matt LeBlanc, where he like puts the gun together, and then it's like. Okay, then in that case. Then in that case, Saint. Why don't you spend another stunt and say and say, armor. I also like that, like, it's very possible, like, none of this has ever come up with Saint until just now. Yeah. Just like, oh, wow, Saint's got some weird stuff. So, Saint, you can, we'll we'll just say, we'll just say, like, automatic armor, and you do get this, like, visor, like, over you. And Saint. She's never been on a quest to vanquish, like, definite evil, so why would she whip this stuff out? (laughs) Saint, I'm actually going to say, now, you'll you'll probably, you'll have to spend, you know, some, some skills for this. Um, if you want to spend it, whatever the fuck. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna private chat you this option. You can decide to this. Absolutely, I want, yeah. I, I want this to happen unbeknownst to other people. Um, can dip your... Am I looking at my phone or at Zoom chat? Zoom chat. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Uh-huh. So, uh, so shall we describe that? Go for it. Yeah. So basically, just you see Saint as doing this. First, you see Saint pull this gun out, and then upon actually seeing the thing up there, this armor forms around Saint, and Saint actually like lifts up as spreading out from the armor is like a motorcycle, um, just like <laughs> you know, kind of just like full on, like like Saint Dread uh, is going on, and Wanda's like, let's be friends. Um, <laughs> So Saint's like, Saint, what kind of a wagon is that? That's really cool. <laughs> My justice wagon. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really uh, Saint. Saint, uh, I'm going to say, even though you're not necessarily rolling these immediately, please assign um, motorcycle and gun to your skills. <laughs> Do I need and- to assign armor? Uh, no, armor is just, you, you okay. just, your armor just comes on in these tense moments. It's fine. Uh, just so I have a clearer picture. Is it like a motorcycle like comes out underneath her that she is riding or does she become part motorcycle? She does not become part motorcycle. It's like, it's like, like whatever arm, it honestly, armor with part of you is like, 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 I get that she's going for a Judge Dredd theme here, but the, the way the armor is forming is sort of Guardian-like. Um, but yeah, and so then just, just she like rises up and there's like a motorcycle under her. You know what it actually feels like? It feels like an old spice ad. That's the energy of just like, <laughs> yeah. I'm on a horse. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> so she's got this big gun and just full armor on a dread cycle. It is her, it is her, uh, justice wagon. Um, but Wanda, as all of you are doing this, oh, and also Shaw, what are you doing right now? You know, Shaw is just watching and waiting at this point. I don't know what to expect. Shaw's kind of like, cool, 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 um, this is not what Shaw's saying. I need to be clear. Mm-hmm. You haven't said this, but if Shaw decides she wants to try to ease tensions here, what she might say is, hey, everybody calm down. Yes, yes. Uh, so, nice. in any case, but Wanda Bunny Feet, as Grant is taking a like there, and armaments like this, and then Saint is like fucking going. Wanda is skipping up to this, this terrifying vision. I didn't say I was skipping up. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like still behind. No, I mean, comparatively to Saint, you're absolutely skipping up to it. (laughs) So, oh, you're peeking around. No pause. Yeah, just like. Ah. Hi. There's no response because you're sort of back with all of this violence that's kind of being pulled up. There does not seem to be any response. Do I notice it's because I'm with the violence? Make an insight roll. And before you do so, if you don't have insight, you can assign it somewhere. I like my insight, to be fair. Okay. I like the idea that Wanda doesn't understand the concept of violence because of all of this stuff. Yeah. Just around her. This is, this is just who we are. This is, what Wanda, this is the environment Wanda's grown up in. Oh, boy. 
A two? Uh, just a product of her environment, the poor thing. <laughs> you you certainly think that, like, though you're doing a great job of making friends, the fact that you're behind violence is kind of, like, clouding the issue for this, you know, it's just, you're not the focus right now. Okay, can, um, can I step forward a little bit? You're going to step forward. Uh, you can, sure. Um, sure. Uh, Armament, are you are you allowing Wanda Bunny Feet to kind of walk forward? Not too far, but like I'm I'm still like ready to spring and like get in front of her if like anything sudden happens. Understood. Okay, so you step a little bit forward, and are you just kind of calling out? Hi. We're just trying to go through the woods. <laughs> You hear a voice, Armament, one that's kind of familiar, but you hear a voice to Armament, um, a voice kind of saying, you have a very nice heart. The trees again pulse, and now you see that red glow within the trees. Can I make a recall check to see if I can like figure out place the voice? Ooh. Go ahead. Let's see if I can achieve total recall. Well, hear, hearing it's the hard thing. Be like one of two people, right? Hearing the hard thing, I'm going to slip on the brass knuckles. Understood. That's a total four, so great. Great. Armament, there's kind of a thing where you're like, I get it. It's night, and I hear a heartbeat, a yeah. night heartbeat, a he looks once hearts is missing a heart and goes on a quest to get a heart but now leads and then took more hearts than went in you're like i get it this is whisper no um yeah you're it's it is, <laughs> <laughs> no it's uh it is it is uh you you recognize night heart's voice um you know you could almost hear her complaining about her missing cars <laughs> especially now that she sees the motorcycle <laughs> Shaw, you get a fate point for that. Oh, yay! So you gain one fate point. I'd oh use it because now you're above your refresh rate. But yes. sure enough, this this kind of presence says, you have a nice heart. And then armor it if there was any doubt in your mind. And a nice ride. And the ghost seems to be focusing in on Judge Saint. What is, uh, what is, uh, Night Saint Heart's Dread? Name? It should be Saint Dread. That's better. Saint Dread is great, yeah. Yeah. Ar no, uh, Armament, go ahead. What is, what is, I, 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 the player, cannot remember Nightheart's real name. Molly Wailani. Yeah. I say Wailani. Molly. Molly, are you in there? The, the the ghost does not seem to respond to that, and in, in 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 truth, you haven't even tried this with any of the others. I'm actually going to have a roll. Um, the ghost doesn't seem to respond to that, but it begins to kind of like shift down the hill, and sort of saying, "You have come to Hooketh Hill with broken, uncertain hearts and sweet, sweet rye." <laughs> um, it's drifting closer and armament you see that this 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 ghost is actually carrying kind of behind it this large grim reaper like scythe which is not not dissimilar from her besento that she used to wield um seeing the ghost running, like coming down with a weapon threat, like threatening. I would start. Uh, I've got my aspect, man. I see one, one solution to problems, and I'm gonna start running forward to punch it, and and turn to no pause. I do is like Molly. You said you were okay, and <laughs> start running towards the running towards the ghost to punch Understood. a ghost. All right. Well, uh, and was somebody else about to ask something? I felt like I heard another voice. 
Oh, I was gonna ask uh, No Pause if if he knew who that was, so then I I could kind of figure out what I would want to do. Understood. So point. we'll we'll sort of say as Grant begins this thing, you can ask No uh, No Pause. You could be responding to that as Grant starts on that action. I'm as Grant's. Well, I I would kind of be ignoring Shaw, and as Grant's because because as Grant's running, I'm gonna yell Nightheart, stop. And I want to kind of like try and like make like a reality check to try and like force her out of it or. Oh my god, I fucking love this. Yes, go ahead. Why don't you roll a reality check on her? You need a. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Uh, I'm gonna tell you more than I wish I was, just because I, I. You're kind of supposed to tell people the levels of this. Um. You are, I'll phrase it like this. You're in a situation in which you actually need uh, an epic or legendary result. Um, a positive result less than that is actually going to be counterproductive. Okay. I don't want to say more than that, but I'm just letting you know that. Okay. Well, that's bad. So I'm going to do the fate points re-roll that. Okay. Are you you're you could probably running low on fate points here, right? I got one more. It's fine. Okay. It's, it good. refreshes by next time. It's fine. This is every session. It's true. I, I I do have a question though. Yes. Uh, seeing this happen, if and I I don't I'm not assuming you're actually going to answer this question. Mm -hmm. If armament were to successfully wake up the rest of us to what our who we really are, could roles like that be group roles? If we all work together to wake up the other people that came in with us. Potentially, if it comes to that. Okay, so. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, so, okay, so, okay, so I'd like to, I'd like to do, um, I'd like to do what we call a little, uh, little, uh, discussion with the GM here. Absolutely. Well, let's just, the first thing to do is to tell me where we're at. Is it fantastic? I've got, I've got a five. That's the best number it no, a, a fantastic would be good, but a superb is great for bad purposes. Okay, so you're at a so, five. Now, so I'm at five. yes, yes. So, I'm I'm looking I'm looking at the rules section on this mm -hmm. character. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and, it, and it's looking at what it says some stuff about fate points. Mm -hmm. And um, so it says like GM approval. I could invoke an aspect that could give us a plus two, or could spend fate points to manipulate events to my benefit. Um, so I've got a fate point left. <clears throat> I would okay. So so yes, basically the only way you can get that plus two is that you will need, or, or you can get a plus two on this roll. You can succeed on this. You can get to a plus seven. Is that the part you're talking about? So you can do that, but you're going to need to invoke a negative aspect. Great. And you are the the negative aspect in this case. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a a absolutely diabolical role here, and and I will express to you what it is, but you will not know what negative outcome might happen from that. Okay. Oh boy. I'm basically going to call this aspect something that we've sort of seen at armament sometimes, as he's you know blown up fucking buildings with his giant gun. Um. We're going to call this succeed at any cost. Mm. If you are going to push this, if you are going to make this ghost realize what's going on no matter what, I'm actually going to let you take your reality check all the way to that level. Done. Okay. So go ahead and just put in succeed at any cost. And uh, basically what this means is that um, there are times when you don't care about harm to yourself or others. You don't care about collateral damage. You put the mission above everything. I feel like we've sort of seen Armament do that before, but usually he's kind of not giving in to that, but in this moment, he is. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So Armament, you you basically, like, as, like, as Grant is running up to punch this ghost, um... Armament is running forward and saying, like, Molly, Nightheart. Uh, he's kind of, like, running at you. Grant, go ahead and make a, a punching roll. Do you have punching okay. already? Uh, no, I'm going to add it. As go a, ahead and roll a punching. I'm going to add it into fair. Great, and I'm going to roll the ghost's dodge uh, with my ghostliest uh, fate dice. Because this is contested. Whew. So that is going to be a four. A four. Um, you do manage to sort of punch this ghost. 
Uh, you only are achieving one shift on the ghost, however, and because of the ghost nature, I'm going to say the ghost is being moved, but the ghost has not been physically affected because your your punch kind of your punch is doing half of what you'd hope it would. But you're sort of you know you're managing to you've managed the ghost has been knocked aside, and that actually leads the ghost is like this like pulsing heart armament. Oh, you then get up wait. next to Grant. Yeah. Can I? Because I forgot about this. Uh, could I? I know. Can I spend a, a fate point to invoke my aspect of when in doubt, punch it as part of this? You know what? Since That's you are kind of doing this recklessly to get the plus two, sure, you can do that. Okay. Um, and thus the ghost is kind of a little bit stunned. The ghost is, is a little damaged by this. Yeah, so um, I go to a six, yeah. That is a six, so the ghost the ghost had a three, so now the ghost fails by three, which is the thing. So the ghost will have to take a negative two aspect check. Um... Um, basically the ghost is taking a negative, t uh, is taking a physical, st a negative, no, still a one, because it's half. Okay. Just, you you so don't just know so any of this, you just see, yeah. you've hit the ghost yeah, and you've harmed, you, you've, you've affected the ghost. Since this is the first time we've encountered this in the system, yeah. what does that mean? Is that ticking these physical stress, these mental stress? The boxes? ghost just ticked the ne the one physical stress. And the way this okay. works in this game, I'll try to, we'll, we'll, you know, I'm going to talk about this part later because we're, there's some narrative stuff going on here. We'll yeah. loop back to this. Okay, okay, okay. Armament. So basically, Grant does this in punches and you kind of like, maybe like the, the shock of being struck by someone as brazen as this. Uh, Grant, uh, yeah, you've, you've sort of done this. You, you can spend the thing. You've invoked the negative aspect. Uh, Armament, you get up to this ghost and you're like, Molly, Nightheart and you're kind of yelling and screaming and you just, no matter what, you can see the ghost almost almost like its own mind breaking. You see this flash of, of you see this flash of Nightheart's eyes within this spectral form and you see like terror and absolute confusion and you feel the mind breaking and you just reach out and you're like, no, 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 no. You, you, you have to understand what's going on. At this point, can you please remove armament from your name? Oh! <gasps> Oh no! <laughs> oh great. Um, but he's basically our Clippy. We need yeah. him. Well, no, you have a new one now. You have a terrifying ghost. You're all in the middle of fighting. Um, yeah. and as Nightheart, as this ghost looks down at all of you, a heart pulsing, an injury, as no pause, you 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 knew you were running up to it, but now you just know you're on a quest and these children are in trouble and you've led them to this ghost. As, as Saint Dread is revving her motorcycle and charging her gun, as Grant is preparing for another punch, as Nightheart in this ghostly form, trying to catch up, sees a bunch of people who may be the people she came in here with, looking at you, ready to attack. That is where we're going to end an end tonight's session. Um, oh. uh, that being said, you succeeded at any cost. That being said, I do want to take a brief moment and explain mechanically what was going on because we are using fate. So, um, the way the fate system works is, uh, rather than tracking HP damage, um, it tracks something called stress. Um, each character's box has, uh... Uh, like a certain number of, you basically have one stress, two stress, three stress, and four stress. Um, whenever uh, attacks against you exceed, because basically uh, she rolled a three on her dodge and you rolled a four to punch. I was giving her though a thing where you would need two things to affect her because she's a ghost. So because you did three, you're affected because you then got it up to a six and she's a three. Uh, she's only going to be taking one stress. You click a box that is equal to or greater than the amount of difference between a contested roll like that. So like okay. St. Dread, if you roll your gun at somebody um, and they roll a dodge, if their dodge is higher than your gun or equal to your gun, they get out of the way. Although your gun is a gun, so it has some special features. But say you say they rolled a zero and you rolled a five. Okay, now they've taken five points of damage so you I have, have to smoke them in their evil ways well so so they have to go up the physical or actually let's let's go to a different so let's say you shot them once you beat them by one so they clicked off their one physical stress box mm -hmm. you shoot them again you beat them by one again well they don't have a one anymore so they have to use up a two and then you beat them by two and you always want to check the lowest but you'll have to go to a high like if you've already checked off one two and three and somebody then hits you with a four or hits you with a one, you have to check off your four. Um, if somebody hits you for more than four, 
you can check off you can check off any number of the stresses, but then you could also check off a consequence provided they add up. Consequences are things. Uh, your stresses go away at the end of any fight. Your consequences last a long time. So as long as you have stresses left and uh, consequences left, you can stay in the fight. Once you're out of all of those, you're done. So this game is okay. is in some ways much more like you know. Okay. So the the consequences are more like our life bar. Consequences are, yeah, kind consequence, of. yeah, exactly. Consequences are, like, like a moderate consequence is your arm got ripped off. You know, consequences are, like, a big deal, whereas yeah. the stresses are just kind of like, dang, ah, whatever. So, um, that is the answer to, to what that was. And, yeah, apologies. I know we kind of, uh, some crazy narrative stuff was going on and Grant started punching. And, and sure enough, the ghost has a thing. Because now the only person who knows what's going on is a terrifying ghost who, honestly, no one but Wanda Bunny feet has any reason to be friends with. So the ghost is If the now. ghost can prove that they're good. Oh. Yeah, sure. Well, St. Dredd, I'm sure you're going to start shooting. I, I hope that outcome was not too much for you, uh, Dan. But uh, I... I, no, I, I, no, I love it. I just... I'm like, oops. That's fantastic. As right. soon as you were saying you were going to do that, I was like, you can succeed at any cost, no matter the collateral damage. I even said no matter the harm to yourself. That was my mild little clue. So later I could be like, well, I warned you. Um... So yeah, uh, that is, uh, oh, uh, we are playing Fate right now. This is Fate, so this is not D&D. &D. Uh, Fate is a game where uh, it's kind of a, in some ways, a much simpler game. Um, you roll, uh, you have dice like these that have pluses, minuses, or blank sides, and you kind of, the pluses and minuses cancel out, so you'll get, you know, you'll get anything from negative four to plus two, uh, to plus four. Um, each one has two pluses, two minuses, two blanks, and then you compare them against your own skills. And there's a ladder that ranges from, like, eight plus eight to negative eight and all this kinds of crazy stuff um so yeah it's it's a very it's a very fun it's a very fun game uh and i think it's really fitting for this kind of i love it for these kind of like dreamy you know kind of like alternate reality realms of the mind i think it's perfect because uh, for example a character like saint can say i'd like to use a lot of my open slots here to turn into judge dread now and <laughs> so it was um <laughs> So uh, here on here on Mega City Galaga, um, so uh, so that was super fun. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Um, uh, we super appreciate you being here. Uh, if you if you like what we do, please follow our channel or, or subscribe. You do get a free Twitch subscription if you link your Amazon Prime account to it, but you have to keep renewing those if you've used it. Um, make sure you do that periodically, whether it's to us or to somebody, because uh, you get it for free. So you should give that money somewhere other than Amazon, because you know reasons. They got enough of it. They they really do have. They, really oh my do. god. Um. They do make some good TV shows though. Damn. Uh, yeah. I really. I actually. I'm just. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do an early Mansukas here. I just watched Upload season two. I like. Uh, I liked season one. Fine. Season two. I was like, all right. This. Like, I want this show to be on a while. I'm into this now. Uh. Speaking well, very shows. We yeah. have other ones. Speaking of shows, we have other ones. Ooh, check us out tomorrow night. It's a game called Gray in the Dark. It's black and white. It's noir. It's crazy. Um, last week, we met an NPC. His name is Jerry Jigalouse. He gave some people nightmares. He <laughs> won't be back next week unless they seek him out. Um, so I can't make he any promises. Okay, understood. Be. We will not go there. We also met Freddy Fox, which was which was different kinds of nightmares, only for the poor dragonborn uh, sleeping on a... Uh, on a uh, Wait, there's been so many snorings recently in these games? Oh my god. I'm in a snoring headspace. Um, on Fridays, we have Blood from a Stone, our horror game. That one is also currently in a noir world, but a very different one. Um, our most recent session of that is a has a particularly intense content warning on it. Uh, even the recaps are a little rough. I should probably put a safe for work recap, which is just they went somewhere and learned something the end. Uh, and then um, on Sundays, we have Here Be Dragons, which uh, the dragons... Uh, Things went differently for the dragons last session. I'll phrase it like that. Um, we'll check that out if you enjoy that game. But uh, if, if, if you've been wondering when the dragons might, we are, might when I think things might work worlds. out for the dragons. I think it says worlds about our channel. That the game in which the dragons have been stripped of being dragons are in a world and are dragonborns and are in a domain of dread where the dragonborns are slaves is the most uplifting and positive show on our channel. That's about right. Um... 
Yeah, I'm working through some stuff, everybody. What can I say? Um, so, yeah, so some real fun shows. Those are on. Um, all those shows are 7.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, uh, except for Ooh. Here Be Dragons, which is on at 7 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Um, that's all that fun stuff. Thank you all. Wait, I, uh, I, I do want to say thank you so much to Book and Dagger. 11 months. Almost one year. Oh, I think that's a small. Yes, he's been. Uh, no, he's been for the beginning. Yes, hello. Uh, no, we're um. Yeah, we're uh. We are. I I, I will say I, I certainly have our one month uh, stream anniversary um, noted on here. So that'll be. We'll be discussing that because uh, our one year stream anniversary is coming up. Yeah. Wow. Um, and then I want to thank Muski as well for resubscribing as well. Thank and uh, Gamer Girl Gaming Stuff, thank you so much for chatting with us and for subscribing. Oh my gosh! Thank you. Indeed. I just want to say that we should all be very afraid about a one-year anniversary. Yeah. It depends Definitely. on which game. Things do do it, it I don't think it matters. Things don't yeah. go well when we celebrate things here. <laughs> Any, uh, yeah, yeah, when uh, yeah. Called? When is it? Yeah. Oh, I don't have the date memorized. Hold on. It's <laughs> not a 13th because we're so screwed. If it oh is. my God, is it on a 13th? That would be the best thing. Um, I don't think it is. One year anniversary. Can somebody talk? We're still okay. Good. Yeah, I did not lose things. Uh, it is. It is very much coming up. It will. Uh, it'll be Tuesday, April fifth. Wow. Is our that's anniversary? Because like that's, that's a like year from. That's when we because uh, we started that on uh, the year before on very a uh, thing. Also, I'm just gonna throw this out oh. there. Uh, Thank you, Kaylee, one, for subscribing just now. One week after that, this just person, I'll, I'll mention this and, and Pierce, you threw one of these out. Uh, so yeah, that is that is the one year anniversary. One week after that on uh, on April 12th, uh, to, also Tuesday, is my five year anniversary of the first time I ever played a D&D. &D. Ah, very nice. Oh. Yeah. Which well, is, yeah, it's very, uh, very nate, yeah, very, very nerdy <laughs> stuff. So, um, oh my gosh, there's, there's, a, there's a dog. Hello, dog. That dog, uh, that dog there in St. Dred's uh, thing is uh, is really not a fan of me. I think I've seen that dog. That dog is kind I of... I uh, because you hate dogs and they yeah. pick up on it. Well, yeah. you, to be fair, yeah, Philip hates all animals. There's a dog eater on the internet like that. Yeah, I don't... You know, the thing about me is is the dogs did start it. Um, they landed on... They landed on us, is how I phrase it for my life. Um... And I don't think I hate dogs. I think I'm indifferent to them, and also I hate them. Uh, all right, so uh, thank you all. <laughs> thanks for thanks for tuning in. Yeah, always got to end it on a hateful note. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> Here's my list of grievances: one, pets; <laughs> two, brunch. You know what the worst meal is? Breakfast. Why does everybody like it? I don't like eggs. Who wants that? I want spaghetti for breakfast. Other grievances. What's other stuff? People you can have like spaghetti for breakfast. Literally, yeah. three. Yeah. You, you're you're, you're a man. Your you're a man in your thirties. You can do whatever you want yeah. with your yeah. meals. Yeah, I know, but I don't because I'm trying to be responsible. Unlike people who spend all day going to brunch with their dogs on a patio. God, I hate all the people I want to be. Um, what a city you've chosen to live in. <laughs> Yeah, LA guys, if you're if you're like, like I'm me, pretty sure if you don't do that at least once a year, you lose your driver's license. If you you're like not me, to live crap. Here, you get kicked oh out. My yeah. God, when the I every 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 like workplace in LA is just like everyone just brings their dogs in every day. Like, oh, cool. I love that. But there's I don't know that there's a not non dog city, and I probably wouldn't want to live there because the people would be weird like me. Um. <laughs> I don't want to be around more me's. That's a problem. Um, my nightmare is uh, is like a, is like that scene from The Matrix where I'm just all the Agent Smiths. That sounds, that sounds absolutely terrible. Um, um, you know, I'm gonna I, I am gonna have one more Manzukas because I just thought of something while we were talking here. Please, um, if you kind of like what the weird thing that's going on in this game, where we are like in a different world and trying to figure out what's going on and, and kind of fighting these different versions of ourselves. Um, check out Time Crimes by Nacho Vigalando. Uh, oh, that's a very interesting movie. It's a fantastic film. He he's directing a lot of uh, uh, Our Flag Means Death, by the way. Oh, oh interesting. I, I need to see that. Excellent. Yeah. Also I I have found Flag Means Death. Yeah, I have found that show. I, 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 let's let's keep chatting. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I found that show to be um, like I don't dislike it, but it hasn't quite clicked for me yet. I haven't like. Yeah. 
has it's a little rougher, but I just like anything on beautiful wooden sailing vessels. I get it. I get it. Oh man, Look, we all we all gotta we all gotta we gotta suffer the rough corners because we all gotta work hard to make Reese Darby a comedy star. Mm. That's fine. I think, come on, he already is. In our in here where it counts, yeah. and and also by the fact that he's you know anchoring an HBO Max series. Um, yeah. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Um, some wild things happened. I was very much not. I, I I thought you guys would meet one of your people and you got where you went. I was like, this is fine. But boy, was I not expecting for Armament to uh, inadvertently give away his knowledge of what's happening to an NPC. That's fun for me. Uh, cause Nightheart's maybe not the most good of anyone you guys have met. She's not bad, <laughs> she's a little she's ambiguous. Just like um, you remember her and V's little adventure. Yeah, she and V had an adventure that V, V, and then that formation popped and then who knows what. So in any case, thank well, you Well, you didn't all. have your voice, so I don't remember you telling us any of that during that time. That's, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, things are good in my heart. All right, well, thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, I will end with the words that make less and less sense on this current game. Have a temple night. <laughs>